Hello, welcome on my channel. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to create Google Mock Mock function, which is a very nice feature in my opinion. Just an alternative for different styles of mocking. There is a special object mock function. Let's take a look at Gmock cookbook first, where there is a small description of mock function. Mock function is a template object which takes as a template argument the signature of a function that has to be mocked. And it has two methods. One method is call uh, with exactly the same signature as we defined before. And the se second method is sstd function which creates an std function proxy that forwards exactly to the call. <laughs> Let's take a look at my spectacular example uh, because recently I found in internet the source code of Windows Troubleshooting Tool which is a very nice code to be honest. So every time you run the Windows Troubleshooting Tool this code is executed. It's a very nice method. It takes as an argument the severity of the problem, which can be low, medium or critical. It returns bool, true when problem is solved, false otherwise. So this very useful code used by Microsoft, we are going to use in our project. And let me write a per, uh, uh, structure that is going to use our Windows troubleshooting tool. As you can see, the, uh, I wrote the advanced troubleshooting tool for Windows. This is my, my special troubleshooting tool, uh, which fixes the monitor driver. If you have some problems with drivers in monitor, you can use this method. Uh, it, it, call, it, it calls the Windows troubleshooting tool with the severity, the critical, because this is a really critical problem. It catches an exception, and when an exception is thrown, uh, we display to the user success and uh, what was successful in case of success. So let's write a, uh, a simple Google test for my method fix monitor driver. We need to include gtest and gmock. I create an instance of unit under test. <laughs> I expect that an exception is thrown from the test for my call fix monitor driver method. And let's say this exception is gonna be STD exception. A very easy test. I call one method, I expect that, that this method is going to throw an exception of type the std exception. But something does not compile because it compiles, but yeah, it takes quite a long because we need to wait 2000 seconds and the process was killed. So as you can see, we cannot use the original Windows Microsoft troubleshooting tool from two reasons. The first reason is a legal reason, because most likely uh, the, this code is licensed, so we cannot use it. And the second uh, reason is that, that it takes too long. So we need to mock the Windows troubleshooting tool somehow to use it in our unit test. How to do this? One method is that we can create a, mob, uh, a member object, std function with exactly the same signature as a tr Windows troubleshooting tool. So it's going to return Boolean argument and it takes Windows severity. An argument. Let me call it predicate. 
by default I'm going to assign to predicate original Windows troubleshooting tool. So instead of calling this method directly here, I'm going to call predicate. This code does exactly the same thing uh, as it did before. That's why we, we still time is exceeded. So what else? I'm going to inject into this predicate mock function. So let me create an instance of mock function with an argument of this. And let's name it Windows Trouble Shooting Mock. And I would like to inject it into unit under test. I can do it because this is a structure and there is only one member here, so I can use default constructor and I'm going to inject it here. It won't compile because Windows Troubleshooting Mock has a type of mock function while compiler expect std function. So we need to call the method that is defined in mock function. It was the method as std function, which will return std function wrapper. So coming back here, as std function method, and everything works now. What do we have in output now? The program compiled, the, the program even run. Uh, we, we don't have any timeouts here, but we have an interesting mock function call returning default value. So the program says that, that there was a method call on, a, on our mock, which is quite expected because we call the, the predicate here. So we need to set an expectation. So we expect, before uh, I inject Windows troubleshooting, mo uh, troubleshooting mock, I expect call on Windows troubleshooting mock. And I expect that, that the method call will be called. It is called with an argument critical. So let's check it. Let's expect that it's going to be called with, with argument critical. And on call, I'm going to throw an exception. So let's say runtime error. Okay, so our test passed, and we, uh, as you can see on the output, uh, the exception that it's thrown is thrown from our mock. So we don't use at all the real implementation of Windows Troubleshooting tool.